I'm Danny. I want to welcome you to my YouTube channel and my first video on uh, planners and journals and in the planner community and I'm so happy to be a part of such a wonderful space um, filled with wonderful people. And so I thought I would start off by sharing my planner lineup for 2021. And first, if you hear some noise, that's my cat um, in my desk losing his ever-loving mind. I don't know what he's doing, I don't know what he's up to, but he's driving me crazy. <laughs> and there he goes, okay. So, let's start with my everyday carry. Uh, just a warning, this is gonna be Hobonichi and Stalogy heavy, but you probably know that because you read the title of this. So this is my Hobonichi Weeks Mega. Hold on, I just wanna make sure that I have the whole thing in frame. There we go. Um, this is my Hobonichi Mega. Um, this is a Moterm cover, black pebble leather, faux leather, I'm, I imagine. But if this is faux leather, this is wonderful. Um, so let's open it up. This is, as I mentioned before, my everyday carry, my ride or die. So I take this with me when I leave the house, when I go anywhere, if I go anywhere, because you know, we're in those types of times where we can't go anywhere. Um, I got it in this beautiful red cover and I made sure to protect it with a cover on cover. And inside you'll see that I have all the stencil accoutrement. Well, not all the stencils, but just the few basic ones like these for moods, weather, um, stars and whatnot. I also have notepads um, or post-its, more stencils. And I had unfortunately stuck down the pocket um, that the Hobonichi comes with before I decided that I was going to uh, do any kind of collaging. Um, so it's awkwardly placed and I kind of like it because I'm an awkward kind of person. So we have like stargazing, a little bit of trees, a little girl holding two kittens, which is me because I have two cats, two little babies. Um, um, more nurturing because I'm nurturing two crazy kittens. Um, and my three words for the year are uh, structure, transparency, and immersive. Again, that noise is my, that's my cat. I don't know what he's doing. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, it's always when you want to film something, your cat suddenly decides to be like, hey, look at me, look at me. Um, I have more stickers, um, more philosophies pretty much. Be silly, be honest, be kind. Um, these are stickers from like um, random uh, Etsy shops. A little butterfly, a little blue background that talks about compassion and affection. And my philosophy um, is be happy, not because everything is good, but because everything, but, but because you can see the good in everything. Um, that's definitely a good philosophy to live by. Here you see all the calendars for 2021, 2020, and 2022. I didn't do anything with it because really I am um, a functional planner, a uh, very minimalist kind of planner. <laughs> They're going crazy. Um, and so I didn't do anything with this page, just a couple of pen tests just to find a, a gel pen that doesn't smear. Um, next is the index. Um, the index which I plan to put my miles in for my runs and walks. Um, I haven't started yet, but when I start walking running again, I will fill this up with how many miles I do per month, um, which I, I'm going to keep track of this year. Now, you see this is starts in December. The beauty of Hobonichi Weeks is that it starts in December, but when I got this bad boy in September, I decided that I didn't really want to wait until December to use it. So I went into the notes area, and the notes area in a mega, in case you don't know for Hobonichi, is hella thick with about um, 200 pages. 200 and I think 15, 16 pages. And so I created my own November in the back. 
just drew out its own boxes and um, wrote in it like a regular calendar. And I formatted, or uh, formatted, formatted. <laughs> I formatted um, the weekly layout just like a regular week's layout with the, uh, let me hold on, with the dates to the left, separated boxes for each day, and then the right side, a uh, completely bank canvas. And the way I divide it up is between personal and work and uh, school. I'm going to school for my master's degree in English literature. Um, so yeah, this is um, where I would write my tasks, um, separate out day by day. Uh, I would write whatever I have to do for my uh, schoolwork in red. Um, so I would write read in red <laughs> and then um th write the whatever i have to read in a regular color and for this other side i wouldn't put anything in red unless it's like a no class no work situation or um my husband's schedule um so yeah, I did that for all of November and then after that I started with daily pages because I decided to make this my catch-all everything. So I would write down everything I do from my um, going to the gym, coping mechanisms, running, uh, reading that I have to do. And this is also a place where I keep my notes for any given time. Like to hear me see I am putting together my spring schedule and um, trying to figure out what my major is going to be or my concentration for my major is going to be. Um, I went from literature to like um, rhetoric and composition, but that's neither here nor there. Um, and I also take my notes for therapy here. I go to therapy once a week and I like to keep my notes, um, you know, uh, in red so I could easily spot it. I also use like a bullet journal method in terms of like the key so a dot indicates task a dot with a square around it indicates um my schoolwork uh triangles indicate appointments or places where i have to show up so work therapy hair appointments doctor's appointments things like that always has a triangle and um circles are events things like that and each day I would head it off with each day and then just write the task. And it's a beautiful, chaotic mess, which I love. Um, a new thing that I started in December, like late December, was writing down what I eat. Um, I'm unfortunately like a kind of a binge eater um, or maybe emotional eater if you want to be technical about it. And so I thought a way to stive that off is to um, write down everything that I eat in a given day, not to count calories, but just to acknowledge what I'm eating, just to kind of be mindful of overeating. And so that's what I did here. So I write it on, I write what I eat on the right and the task still remains on the left. And there's no reason to run to it. It's just kind of chaotic, which is what I like. And so since school ended, let's see, this is the last day of school over here. Um, you could tell by because there's no red boxes. I just been writing everything out straight. Um, just keeping track of my husband's schedule, really, and keeping track of my work schedule, which hasn't changed. I've been experimenting though with uh, color, highlighting it in pink because now I'm using black ink and I'm not really switching. Um, I'm not using the tricolor pen that the Hobonichi came with. Uh, I decided like maybe I should add some color so this week I tried pink next week I tried green highlighting my work schedule in green and task in green and I also applied these really pretty little stickers they're so cute um, maybe I'll start using a little bit more stickers I don't know maybe not um, we'll see um, I use mild liners uh, for the highlighting and it works great with um, I don't think I talked about it this Muji pen uh, it's a three point, can you see it? Yeah, 3.8 Muji pen. I like small, I, I love a three point, not a 3.8, a point three eight, um, because it makes my handwriting look great. Um, did I have anything else in the notes? <clears throat> yeah, I have my goals, my philosophical goals, my priorities. 
actual personal goals that I hope to accomplish, like lose weight, um, read 10 minutes every day. Um, I also made an index, but I don't know about how that's going to work. I also tried to put together my new schedule and how I was going to use my planners for this year. Nothing um, fancy smancy. Um, oh, and I also have collections, but the collections I don't imagine are going to get filled out because I usually watch uh, movies with my husband or he makes me watch movies or new TV shows. And um, he's on deployment right now. Um, he's a sailor. So uh, I probably won't be able to uh, watch much. Plus, I'm in school. So with a full schedule, I don't know how that's going to work out. Um, and this is my everyday carry. Uh, did I talk about the months? Yeah, I mean, and the months I just put my entire schedule. So um, <clears throat> I put my work schedule. I also put my class schedule. I also put any appointments like therapy, um, dentist, um, special meetings. I also have a monthly goal. What I was trying to do here is uh, write out all the tasks that I need to do my work schedule but it started to smudge a little so i started getting disheartened so i decided just let me write a monthly goal over here um so that's what i'm gonna start doing for this year and that's my everyday carry um my next planner is um another hobonichi it's the hobonichi a6 avec uh, which is from January to June, so it's the Japanese version. I think the English version only comes in a full year, so um, yeah, so I love an A6 size. A6 is one of my favorite sizes. I can't do A5. This stays home, uh, unlike my everyday carry, this always stays home. This is open at my desk, and um, I'll just start from the beginning. I'm not gonna do anything with the um, index pages. <laughs> you can hear my cat, <laughs> sorry. I'm not gonna do anything with my index pages. I'm notorious for not doing anything with my index pages. I can't think of things to do with it. I didn't plan anything in December in this because the daily start in January. And here I laid out my work schedule, which is very much attached to my school schedule, but I haven't written out my school schedule yet because um, we're it's all online, unfortunately, this semester. And so I don't know if we're going to be doing Zoom, like synchronous, appointment, synchronous meetings or asynchronous meetings. And so um, once I find that out, I'll write out um, what days that I have to be in class, so to speak, in my schedule. And so that's what I plan to do. I plan to write out, even though it's repetitive because my schedule doesn't change, I plan to write out my schedule in all these boxes and specifically the due dates. Once I get the syllabuses or syllabi, I'm going to write out the due dates and the tasks required week to week to week because this is mainly for my school. And the reason why, even though I have a catch-all and I have dailies in my weeks, the reason why I you plan to use these dailies is to use this area right here on the left hand side where there's like an actual clock where I could schedule my time and um, so I'll write down my tasks to the right and on the left I will move this pen the left I will um, block off when I have to um, schedule something so over here, I had to go get my car fixed. The car battery changed, and it was from, what is that, 10.30 to 12 o'clock. It wasn't that long, but, um, and then I had to wait for a delivery. Um, so work from 10 to 2, um, therapy at 2.30. So that's pretty much what I plan to use this for. This is really going to be, um, where I, I'm really focusing on using this block scheduling so that I utilize my time in studying and writing and don't spend too much time on one given task that I divvy out my hours in a mindful way. And while with my weeks, I plan to do it day by day by day, the dailies, this I'm going to plan out in advance. So today's the 10th. You'll see that I have all the way to the 19th filled out. 
uh, 19th is the first day of class, as you can see. So um, that's how I plan to work out um, my schedule in this book. I plan to pre-plan here and block off specific times for when I need to do certain items um, or certain tasks so that I meet the due dates. And that is this planner. So my next, well, those are my only two planners, just these two um, are my actual planners, my VJ carry, and this I leave on my desk open um, just to have like as a calendar. The next book I'm going to show you is actually my memory planner. Um, this is another Hobonichi in a, in a Hobonichi cover, which is beautiful. Oh, did I mention? That this cover is a foxy fix um i actually don't remember the um, sorry i don't remember the name of the leather but foxy fix is, is unfortunately they're not producing any more leather or any more notebooks as far as i know um it used to have an elastic but my kitty you know the crazy one who's making all the noise he chewed the heck out of this so um yeah this is foxy fix so this one is uh is a Hobonichi five year um, A6. Um, I said that all in reverse. A Hobonichi Techo um, five year planner, which um, what I plan to do is every morning write about the day before. So January 1st was written the morning of January 2nd, and what I'm doing is writing down what happened no emotion no technical stuff just straight up and down this is what happened and so that's what i plan to do just talking about what actually happened in the day like i spoke to so and so or i ran errands or i went to walmart i picked up my prescription i took the cats to the vet things like that and it's just technically what i did So that's how I plan to use it. I love this cover. It's so bright and I love how it's so many colors because between the the many years that I plan to write in this, it's going to be so many different colors happening in each every day and I can't wait to have that ongoing comparison between what happened in 2021 versus what happened in 2024. Um, my next book is my actual journal, my very much so my other ride or die that I don't leave, I don't take it out of the house at all, but um, it's in this wonderful Hobonichi cover because it's another Hobonichi. It's a Hobonichi A6, so it's a regular Japanese uh, original Hobonichi. And it's an A5, I'm sorry, it's an A6 size. I'm sporting a Muji pen with it. That's a little upside down. And um, yeah, so same three words, structure, immersive, and transparency. Not exactly in the same order. And for this index, I'm actually going to use it. I'm going to just use one word a day to describe the day. So the first was relaxing, and unfortunately the ninth was sad. The eighth was productive. I'm just going to use one word to describe the day. And I'm going to hopefully do that for every day. Here, um, I mentioned before that I'm in therapy, and so I um, have uh, my therapist recommended coping strategies just to balance out my moods are, and also to be mindful of when I'm too up or when I'm too down. Um, so here I'm writing down what um, what coping strategies I used in a given day, kind of like a tracker. Um, not, it doesn't matter if I do it multiple times a day or just once, I'm just writing down if it was done at all. So majority of the time you're going to see that I mostly journal and I do gratitude every day or I try to do gratitude every day. Um, and I try to pray every day and that's what I'm going to do with these calendar pages over here. And, um, for the dailies, and this is what I love about Hobonichi that, um, this, the way they structured a blank page is that right over here you have a bunch of check boxes and empty space and then you have this whole block area where you can do whatever you want 
and then you have these three lines at the bottom. And so what I did was I divided it up into these three parts. This top part is going to be my um, mood tracker, um, where I just give a sentence, a couple of lines about what I'm feeling, what I'm thinking. Um, this area is where I'm going to talk about my feelings, my emotions, my day, what's going on. And all the way at the bottom here is where I'm going to write my gratitude. Um, and so that's how my notebook, my journal is structured. Tracking my moods, journaling, and the things that I'm grateful for. And so that's what I plan to do. And it's not that labor intensive because it's such a short amount of things to write. Sometimes I write a lot, sometimes I write a little. As you can see, <laughs> I noticed that I, I like to take the, the labels off of pens and put them randomly in places, so don't mind that. Um, so yeah, that's what I plan to do with my journal, and this is going to be every day. And I know some people find that labor intensive, but um, it's really simple. Sometimes you could just write a couple of words or a couple of sentences, and or sometimes you want to write a lot. It depends but I think it'll be helpful to me and my um, mental health to track how things are going in general and my next book is a B6 Stalogy um, I don't think I talked about the last pen that I was using in my other planner this is a Uniball 1 uh, 0.38 um, I might be upside down can I focus it yeah this is a really great pen for the Hobonichi paper and it also works great in my B6 Stalogy now um, I am a journaler and obviously if I'm in the planner community I love a good notebook this is a great notebook and I plan to use this for my creative journaling and so by creative meaning I'm going to tip in as much as possible I'm going to sticker it to death I'm going to free write I'm going to do um, morning pages I'm going to do whatever I like with the, this notebook and so it, with how blank it is it gives you the freedom to do whatever you like with it so that's what I plan to do. Um, exploring my heart's desire is written there. Can you see it? There it goes. And then um, take the moment and make it perfect. I can and I will. And lastly, I wrote go find yourself right over there. If you can see it. There you go. Um, those are what I plan to live by as I go through this notebook. Be stronger than your excuses. I took this in. Um, this is just a bunch of stickers um, that I got from this book. I don't think I mentioned this before, but this book is where I got the stickers. Um, the stickers that I have in um, right here. So I got this from Amazon uh, for like 19 bucks, and it has like the most oddest stickers. And if you're into odd stickers and odd imagery, this is a good book for you. I suggest you uh, invest. And so this is another part, the silhouette pulled out. Do more, oh, <laughs> do more of what makes you happy. I tip that and I'm learning how to tip in. So if it looks like raggedy, <laughs> please forgive me. Um, some morning pages more vellum tipped in um this is like a religious themed about god and bringing peace um stickers that i got from random etsy shops i was doing um junk journaling for a little while and so i bought a whole bunch of stickers um some ephora ephemera excuse me ephemera and they have such beautiful stickers um like this beautiful lily what looks like a stamp these are more morning pages. I tipped in some music sheets. More morning pages. Made the collage. All these stickers are from the book I just showed you. And here's a letter. Um, it's written in French and I can read some French. Supposedly it was written um, uh, 1940, but you know, who knows? 
um, more free writing. So I'm gonna just do some free writing here. Um, this washi tape is so old that it keeps ripping. I have no idea where I got it from. Stickers are from that book. Uh, blank pages, because this is where I'm gonna write some morning pages tipped in this postcard and um, this is some of the collages that I plan to do. So the next couple of pages will be the collages. So this is a collage that I did. There it goes. Another collage that I did. Driving makes me anxious is what I wrote here. And I, I love making collages. They're so much fun. And maybe I'll make one with you guys. <laughs> you can see my thought processes. Like I usually think of a word like this one was glamorous. And I just pick stickers and put things together based on that. This is not a collage, this is just a regular tip in that I liked. Some um, vellum. Free writing, some more collages. This is my favorite one right here. I love that. And a map that I tipped in because I'm in Virginia. I was just like, yay, Virginia. And yeah, that's what I've done so far. I've only been working in it for a couple of days, and so it's not that full. So that's my creative journal. My owl. Oh, it doesn't have a cover yet. It's in the mail. <laughs> I'm waiting for Amazon to ship it on by. I'm going to get put it in a Moterm um, a gray leather, pebble leather type cover. Similar to what my uh, Weeks is in. And this one is not necessarily the book I plan to use every day, but it is um, where I plan to practice my brush lettering and doodling. So it's something I'm not going to take seriously. I'm going to pick it up whenever I feel like it. Um, I was trying to write January. I misspelled it. Yes, I know. And just something I'm not taking seriously, just practicing. So that's my collection. I hope you enjoyed watching this video as much as I did creating it. Um, please like, comment as much as possible and subscribe. And forgive me and my kitties for making so much noise. And I'll catch you later. Bye.